and welcome to Scale Talk, a series of short instructional videos from Rice Lake Weighing Systems. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 680 Synergy Plus. All right, so now we're going to take a look at setting the capacity on the 680 Synergy Plus. Uh, we have a small scale here. This is a 50 pound scale. Uh, we're going to set this up to count by 0 0.01 of a pound. So we'll start by putting the unit into config is on the underside of the unit. And we'll see config on the display. From here we'll press the gross net key to go down and we see capacity on the display. Go ahead and press down one more time and by default we're going to see 10,000.0 on the display. All I have to do here is enter the capacity of the scale. Well I want it to be 50 pounds so I'm going to enter 50. 5, 0 and I'll press tear to accept my changes and advance to the next parameter. Now what I'll have to do from here is I'll go back up with the zero key. That brings me back to config. And then I'll navigate to the right using the print key where I'll see format on the display. From there I'm gonna come down. I'll see primary. This is indicating the primary units of measure. By default that's gonna be pounds. I'll come down again. I'll see format a second time, continue to come down, and here's where I'm going to see a bunch of eights and then a number on the end. So this is going to tell me how is my count by going to end or increment by. And by default, it's incrementing by one pound. So what I'm gonna do is use my units key or my print key to cycle through the different choices. And remember, we're gonna set this up to be 0.01 of a pound. So if I go to the left, I see 0 0.5, 0 0.2, and 0.1. So this is what lets me know that it's going to count by 0.1, but we want 0 0.01. Let's keep going. I got 0.2 decimal places here now, two and a one. So here we have a count by of 0 0.01 in the end. So I'll hit tear to accept those changes. That'll bring me to units on the display. And then I can press menu to save and exit. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and calibrate our scale with the 680 Synergy Plus. Uh, we just went through and set it up to be a 50 pound scale that counts by 0 0.01. And now we need to calibrate. So let's go ahead and get it into config. We'll press our button under the bottom and we see config on the display. And what I'm gonna wanna do here is I'll navigate to the right with my print key. Press that a couple times until I see Calibrate on the display. I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna see W0. This is where we're going to calibrate the zero. So at this point, you'd wanna make sure on your own scale that there was nothing on the platter. Uh, we have an empty scale. Go ahead and press tear to execute that. We see please wait. And then it should come back and say okay to let you know that the zero calibration is complete. I'm gonna press my tear button to accept that. It's going to show me zero count on the display, and that's where if you want to write down those counts for future use, you can go ahead and take a look at those. For calibrating, we're going to go ahead and move to the right one step. What we're going to see here is WVAL. That's for our weight value. We have to indicate how much weight we're actually going to use to calibrate with. So I'm going to press my down arrow to get to the edit screen for that. And by default, I see 10,000. I have a 20 pound weight I'm gonna to use to calibrate our 50 pound scale width. So I just wanna enter 20. Press two zero on the number pad, followed by the tear button to accept the changes. And that'll bring me to W span. This is where we're gonna calibrate the scale using the weight that we just indicated. So we wanna make sure that we have that amount of test weight on the scale. So we'll go ahead and do that. We've got 20 pounds on here. We'll go ahead and press the tear key to execute. It says, please wait. And when it's done, it lets us know that everything is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and press the enter key to accept that, clear the message. It brings us to the span count. Again, that's where if you wanna save that information for later, you can go ahead and take a look at that and jot that down in your notes. Uh, but for the sake of calibration, we're all done. Let's go ahead and hit the menu key to save and exit and we see 20 pounds on the display. 